long enough Will I end up in another life? Can I change her mind? Can I still get high? Will I still be without a wife? If I hold my breath long enough Will I end up in another place? Where there's no goodbyes or what's on the nights And there's no tears to erase Cause I wanna see it's your face Both have cooling vests on to try to beat the heat Come here, give me a hug Alright, fine, hey, speak, speak Hey, come here, Max Move, move, move Hi, my name is Evan O'Driscoll. I'm here to comp compete against Noah Olsen. I think I can do it. I'm going to bring it in for Ireland. I made, I made that mistake once. I was doing a round mile with Cody, and I think it was Mackenzie actually. Uh -huh. And they said saddle, and we all kind of raced into it, and it was four minutes. And halfway through, we were all like, this was a mistake. If we're, if we're starting with basic stuff, I think that's what I lead with more often than not. Yeah. I mean, to, to parlay off that, when I used to drink, I, the amount of couches I peed on <laughs> when I was drinking was absurd. I, I, I marked quite a lot of territory. I had a friend. <laughs> I had a friend that for some reason, every time he would be really drunk like that, yeah. would pee in different things all around his dorm room, and so he one time like peed in one of his clothing drawers, just opened the drawer, peed, closed it. One time opened his friend's laptop, peed in it, closed it. Like, I, I don't know why, that was his uh, The camera go -to. turns on just when the pee jokes come out. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect timing. I was only joking about that, by the way. <laughs> I was not. I'm sorry about your bed. <laughs> get there faster. Get, get Evan, get Andres. Oh, you like bit your nose on that one. Hey Max, go get Sam and Phoenix. Go get Sam, get it. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Alright, ready for event seven? Get it, sir! Four time, 50 toe to bar, then three rounds, 10 dumbbell snatches, 170, and 15 yard dumbbell walking lunge with the dumbbell anywhere. On the ground? Place the dumbbell down and just, <laughs> just roll it. I got you today, Castro. I got you. That's all right. What do you need? Anywhere. Three rounds? Three rounds of 10 and 15. Alternating arms on the DB snatch. Do spec snatch? Got got hacks. Snatch, snatching you up, bro. You guys want to knock it out earlier than four? It's 245 right now. Before? Before? Before four. Before four? Are you a dad yet? I wish. I mean, very good possibility. <laughs> Gary was a wild time. I'm, I'm not a dad. That's a lie. Oh, uh, we should probably pull this. Out. only do that one more time so if you're gonna get it make sure you get it here okay okay all right so people when you're snatching right a lot of folks will tell you triple extension stops here the shrug hips and toes what they have wrong is like you still got to get the bar over your head but it's way easier to get the bar over your head when you triple extend keep extending rep that's a wrap right there so that counts um I, I've hit I think 420 pounds with that um, I don't want to brag or anything like I think that's okay though so if you're looking to improve your snatch pretty relatively quickly uh, that's my, my best advice you just finish the pull people think they're finishing the pull when when they're on their toes that's not finishing the pull get to the ground head on ground 
bar over, you're stronger in that position. And you can also, you can also work right into the, the bench press, the floor press from here, right? So I'm getting two lifts for the price of one. Um, I just, I'm all about efficiency of movement. We talk a lot about training currency, right? Being effective with my time. If I can do two lifts for the price of one with the snatch to floor, to floor press, I'm gonna do that every time. So just be sure to take advantage of that. That concludes today's, uh, today's Chandler Minute. Uh, right here, join me next Sunday where I teach you guys the secrets of the clean and jerk. Dude, that's the weirdest part about all this is talking to the camera. Like it's super awkward at first. Yeah, you just got to think about like, people. Yeah, you just got to talk like you're talking to other people. Yeah, well, I just started this stuff so, too, so I'm like still kind of like shy about it. So it's better when someone's holding the camera because then you feel like you're talking to them. The princess is here. Huh? I'm glad I scaled that. Yeah. That would have crushed me. Yeah, that was, that was good. I, I was like heavy enough where it was like pretty yucky. Regardless. Yeah. How'd you feel? I felt good. Walk us through. All right, Steve, tell me what happened there. I How'd went out too hot in the toes of bar. Oh, yeah. What was yeah. the set? I just did 10. Uh, well, I did 10s up until like I swear, guys, 35, and then I, I was doing fives. But no, what was your set right there? Uh. What did we do? I think we went to 35 or 6, 37. 37. I thought, at that point, I thought about going all the way. I was like, there's only 13 left, but I don't think it would have been a good idea because my grip had already started to go. So we came down at 37, and I think we did like two more sets after that. Got it. And then what about the, uh, the dumbbell snatch? I went too light. What? <laughs> That's no. Well, from what it looks like for everyone else, except for you two, obviously, it was pretty challenging. Yeah, that was pretty that was challenging for us. Yeah. For but sure. I mean, you guys moved pretty quickly. I was doing, I just did what the weight is for the open and... 50? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't do 70. I, I've never done that, and I figured today is probably not the day to try it. Laura and Evan, how'd the dumbbell treat y'all? What? How'd the dumbbell treat y'all? I like the dumbbell. I should have gone, I should have gone heavier, I think. Laura's I like my, my first set after the uh, toaster bar. Yeah. I was struggling, but then after that, it was easy. Like, I cramped up and like, Coach Max, did you see anything? Good job, Sam. No comment from Max. Max, 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 Max. First time with the 100, I love it. The dumbbell wore the pants in our relationship today. Oh man. But that means you're in a relationship, so that's like a plus. <laughs> I, count, count your blessings, I suppose. How about you got big guy? I got a lot of internal anger. About, all right, walk me through it. How much, uh, how much you hit for the first, uh, for the toast about what you hit? First. Sam and Noah, uh, we said, I thought we had a gentleman's agreement that we were gonna go like 30, 20, 20. and yeah. then uh, 30, 35 came and went, and then we were still holding on, and then he dropped, and I was like, dude, finally, like, yeah. I wasn't gonna let go, but like, we thought we had something, so. We were matching cadence at first, Yeah. I was like, let me try to get a rep ahead of him, and then you got ahead of me, and I was like, all right, I'll let him take it. So we hit like 37, that was whatever, we came off, he, he beat me by like a rep, um, and we came off, and my head, my mind was telling me yes on the touch and go, but my body. Did he do anything? My body. Tell me no. No, absolutely not. My, my body. Yeah. So we my didn't do body. that. R. Kelly's a pedophile though, so we hate him. So just we we'll get that out there. Um, and then the lunges were like mad uncomfortable for me because I suck at anything that's like in front. So I was like feeling like I was leaking a lot of power on that. But um, I think I moved the snatches pretty well. I also cheated and didn't count my reps according to Noah. So that's 
will help me out there. He only did eight reps at the end. I'm just kidding. I'm sure he did the 10, but he's really mad because I asked him if he did the 10. He's never asked me before. I don't know why it's coming into, <laughs> into question today. We gotta, we gotta go back and watch the footage. Yeah. I, I'm not doubting him. My man is definitely not a cheater. That sound like he's not doubting me? It's, it's an excuse on my part. I thought we were rep for rep, and he took off two reps ahead of me, and so in my mind, I was like, the only way he did that is if he forgot two. We rep not rep. that I was moving slower. We weren't rep for rep. I felt like it. No. All right. Tune in next week. We'll go to the film. Whoop. It's a little round right now, because I haven't had the, I usually set up the top down. If you go all out in just two minutes, it's like, I definitely, the form isn't there. I'm like, it's like how I do my CrossFit deadlifts where like legs are basically straight and it's just like all back. Yeah. Right, what it are we doing for a cash up? Another 50 soda bar. Uh, 100 wobbles. Ooh, I just got really dizzy. 100 wobbles? Yeah. I'm six foot one. Hiya! That's not the main you were thing you to, want to wrap. I'm about to take the long I'm going to pass over an alligator. <laughs> Like, yeah, contact is like great contact, man. Yeah. I just want to grab people all, all the time. It's not weird. It's, it's like, here, come here, Steven. <laughs> Get over here. It's like grabbing people. First off, today is complicated multi process operation. We have the food located here in Cooler. We have the water located here in the pool. And we have the sweat bump which will be located near the chessboard over there. All right, beginning operations, phase one. It's a three-phase operation. Phase one, take the food out of the cooler, place it there on the grill. Roger, Noah, Sudi, you all be taking care of that. Phase two, spike ball operation. Spike ball operations are open to anybody. However, you must be good to play. If you are bad, you're not gonna be on my team, all right? So, this disqualifies myself and no one else, because I'm really bad. Phase three, after we are tired, the food has been cooked, we will return here and commence pool operations. Pool operations are a multi fast operation. I need everybody to pay attention. Main effort for pool operations is Cadet Olsen. Cadet Olsen, you are going to set up the food. Proximity to the pool has to be optimized to where the food does not fall within the pool, but where you can easily access the food from the pool. Sir, yes, sir. Roger, does everybody understand Roger. the purpose of this operation? Negative. All right, Roger. Someone fill him in. That's all I got for today. I'm out. That easy. Wow, it's happening. Woo! Well done. I'm from San Francisco area. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I don't know why he's peeing at the bottom of the pool. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's like... That. Go! <laughs> Man, I'm excited for this thin steak. I like my meat real thin. <laughs> I know. What was your favorite event of all time? Oh, Ladies and World War Game. Of all time. Sheesh. I don't know why the first thing that came to mind, I don't know if this is an accurate depiction of my favorite event of all time, but the Muscle Up Biathlon in 2014 was really cool for me because I was in the final heat and I won my heat and it was with guys like Rich Froning, Jason Kalipa, Daniel Tominski, I don't know, just everybody that I had always you. looked up to. And yeah. out of nowhere I came and I won, and I don't know, it was, that was like a very powerful experience. I can't even think of an event right now. Um, <laughs> Fail. There's been a lot. Yeah, there's, not there's gonna a lot to go through. Everything. Come on. What are you thinking of? Something must have come I don't know. Out. I just, I feel like the, it sounds dumb, but like the workouts that stick out in my mind most are the ones that were like hard to watch, I guess, because I have like an emotional tie to it. Like when you do well, I do too, but like, I don't know, like those stand out more. Like when I think about that first year that you were talking about that rope climb workout, like I vividly remember that watching that workout that was like the the long, the long thick rope or whatever, and then how you had to go into, was it like Grace or something? Oh, I the like final. distinctively remember watching that. And then I remember watching um, at regionals, like distinctively the box jump deadlift workout. Oh I'm yeah. Sorry. yeah? That was like one of the first times you saw me compete too. I know. Huh. As I'm saying, I think like all the workouts that I remember the most are like the yeah. hard ones. The ones like that, that were like emotional. Yeah. The yeah. ones that crushed um, me. But I feel like any workout that you do that has like a gymnastics piece, like, oh, you know what was cool? Was it regionals that you had the obstacle course handstand walk? Mm -hmm. That was fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was 
2017 last regional, year, right? Yeah, yeah. Or, I guess. I couldn't remember if it was the games or regional. No, it was last year. Was yeah. it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you're right. You're yeah. right. And then they brought out the paralytes at the... That's where they after. introduced yeah. the, like, ramp. Yep. Yeah. So, that was a really cool. Like, Probably Aaron yeah. or Nick. I, <laughs> <laughs> I heard he had a killer party. Yeah. Like, Come get it. Yes! <laughs> Dude, that was the jam. His, yeah. His car, like, uh, last time I was here, like, you know, like, everybody has that song, the first song that comes on. Yeah. Like, normally for most people, ADHD, Kendrick Lamar, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, his was Aaron's party. Um, so, but he, like, we would, like, let it run, like, every single time we were in the car last time. So, we, like, just played it off. How's your Spanish, Evan? I mean, not great. <laughs> yeah. I planned on learning when I moved here, but. He I likes know. salsa though. Yeah. I know. It's a win. Manzana. Home oh. win. Ooh. Yeah. Apple man. Apple man <laughs> woman. <laughs> yeah, we out here with dropping bars. Le Leche. 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 Oh. Manzana. Leche. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nina. Me and my Nino. me and my home braids. We out there about to go look for some moo jairs, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? All right, we out here doing. We're gonna fuel up on some manzanas and then we're gonna go out and hunt. You know what I mean? Manana, manana. We got, manana. Manana. got the beast tech. The, the Bistec out here. Look at this. <laughs> what y'all know about this this Bistec right there? That's real stuff right there, man. Me and the home brace. Bro, the no shirt grill is always bold strategy, Risky. comma, cotton. Yeah, I know. It's, oh my god, yeah. yeah. Little burn. Dude. <laughs> it's a bold strategy. Let's see if this works out see for him. See how this plays out, huh? <laughs> yeah, see how it plays out. What are you guys referencing now? Dodgeball. Dodgeball. So bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Favorite bit of all time was the chipper at Rogue. Because rowing and wall balls are two movements that like coming into the sport, like getting started at, I was like not supremely confident in my ability to do well. And I spent a lot, a lot of time, especially in Europe, like rowing, because the have a lot of options, it's super cold outside, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then to take, I took, ended up taking second in that workout there against some guys who I know are like really good rowers and like wall ball guys. Um, so that was like a really big moment. There's other, like I know I'm good at some of the other things I've done well, but like to do well at stuff that I like haven't traditionally believed in myself for was like a big jump. It's like, oh, I, I can, even stuff that I'm bad at, like if the chips fall in the right way, I can hang with like the very best guys in the world. Yeah. So that was my favorite. Aya! <laughs> we lost one. Yeah. We're packaging. It says eight to get the user interest. It's called the foot in the door technique. Learned about it at marketing school. So once people see the eight buns, they're like, oh, I want eight buns. They pick it up. There's only three. However, these are the king's buns. So they're not just any regular buns. People would normally put these back and say, I'm going to look for some more royal buns. But who really outranks the king? Nobody. And no one outranks these buns right here. So even Lord with three, Almighty. for the price of eight, this is the best deal out there. King's Hawaiian. Bun it. <laughs> Have you guys ever chopped down a tree before? I feel like it's not a very Miami thing. Yep. Chopped down a tree. Exhilarating. Oh my gosh, yeah. They're like, put some hair in your chest. Maybe not your chest, but like, if you wanted hair in your chest, it, it's probably very slow. Knight, roll just set. B34. Sir, reports are coming in. We've been stuck by an unknown, unknown adversary. Dude, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> I Did that hurt? You just really hurt yourself. I didn't know what happened. I just saw you fall. I was like, oh. <laughs> you just thought he ate well it. Well done, sir. I hope I got that. Today was not our day on the battlefield. Screw off. <laughs> You're almost winning, too. I'm mourning the death of my men. <laughs> it was a massacre.